Hi, I'm Adam Moody. If you run an online business making over $200,000 per year and you're like me and you want to see a 10, 15, 20% or greater increase in revenue from an easy to miss area, then watching this short video will pay off big time. Now, if you'd like help right away with high quality email marketing, you can go to profitbyemails.com to find out more. But let's dig into this. Now, we've all heard about email marketing and our businesses certainly send out emails, right? And out of all of those emails you could be sending, abandoned cart emails are extremely important. They're so important, the vast majority of businesses already have some form of cart abandonment in place, maybe an email or a retargeting ad. Hopefully you do too. If not, that's the first step. Seriously, stop watching this video and go write an email that says, hey, we noticed that you didn't finish your checkout. Here's the link to finish your purchase and get what you wanted. Cue that up uh, and then you can send me a thank you note for making you an additional two or 3% on your bottom line. Now, assuming you've got that in place, what's next? Because that's where most of us stop. And to tell you the truth, you can get a lot more out of your abandoned cart flows with just a little bit more input. How? Well, let's take a look real quick at one that I have set up and really it only took a few minutes. If you've never done this before, it would take you a little bit longer, but let's just dive in and see what we can do. Here we've got a built out abandoned cart sequence. Now what most of us do here is we have a trigger, right? When someone started to check out and we wait some amount of time because we don't want to instantly send that. And then we send them, hey, you forgot something, which is great. And that is definitely a good starting point if you don't have one. But we want to make the most out of this, right? So we can do something and look at this like, huh, has someone ordered a product at least once? Well, if they have, then maybe we send them something that doesn't always include a discount or we randomize it, right? And we see in here that there's even variations, which is very important. I'll come back to that in just a minute. But over here, we have another branch and says, well, if they haven't, then uh, hey, it's still, hey, you forgot something, which works just fine, but we also include a coupon code because they've never been a customer and we want to definitely entice them as strongly as possible to place that order. Now, what we've done on both of these is we've added a second email, just waited another four hours, and then send them another email, and we have variations of these, and like I said, we'll definitely come back and talk about what that is. But this is easy, so you could even say, just to get started, you don't need this side, just come in and make these emails where, hey, you forgot something, you've got uh, a good little bit of description about what they forgot, and it's simple, right? You know, go grab it. And then we could have, you know, good news, bad news. Maybe, hey, we can't guarantee that this is gonna be in your cart, depending on what your uh, system you're using for your e-commerce store. Maybe uh, the cart only lasts for 24 hours, something like that. And then over here again, if you wanted to add in some uh, split testing and some emails, we have this available um, in Klaviyo, which is a system I'm showing right now, and a lot of other email systems. So we can split this based on all sorts of interesting things, like have they ordered a product at least once is what we're doing here. Now you may be thinking, well, you know, if it's only two to 3% of the bottom line, you know, why would I bother doing this? And just here I've uh, shown a little bit the kind of results you can get. This is great, right? Just using that flow, we can get uh, up to like $34 and I've seen higher, I've seen lower and your results may definitely vary, but you can get a lot of money per recipient. All right, this is a great way uh, to follow up with people and to keep them coming back. Now, you remember I kept saying that we're going to talk about the variations. Well, what you can do is set up variations. You can split test things like subject lines. You could split test the content, maybe images, right? You could split test a different offer or a different coupon, uh, either amount or maybe a different uh, uh, coupon offer. So again, and this is not stuff that takes a long time to set up, but it does take a little bit of understanding about your business, you know what your brand is and what you're offering people. And then you can come in here and look at this and say, oh, over time, you know, hey, we've had 100 people get these abandoned cart emails. What does that look like? Which one is winning? Which variation is the best? Things like that. And you keep doing that over time and optimizing and you will end up with a really, really powerful system that continues to give you results like this or even better. Now, like I said, this may take you a little bit longer if you've never done it, but this is stuff you could do in just a few hours. Now, if you'd like to increase your revenue from something as simple as abandoned carts, this is for you. I've done this and seen those great results I shared just a minute ago, and you should do the same. So if you'd like help with implementing better abandoned cart flows and optimizing them, or help with your entire email marketing process, go to profitbyemails.com and fill out the application form today.